Mm. Yeah. Right. Hi. One second. Hi. Are you here to audition for the part? Yeah. Okay, one second. Hello, very important person speaking. What do you need? I'm very busy. Oh my gosh, you already forgot. Let me go over it one more time. Okay. The plan is we are going to create a fantastic Willy Wonka experience, just like Mr. Beast did that one time. And we're going to charge $40 per person because this is going to be a very expensive, elaborate, fantastical experience. Are you understanding what I'm telling to you? Right. Okay. Now continue to um, look for some streamers. I was thinking we could put those up for some added magical effects. Right. Good. Bye-bye. Hi there. So nice to meet you. I am the owner of the Illuminati, um, the Illuminati company. No affiliation, but if you want to affiliate us, that's totally fine. Just don't tell them that. Right, so you are here to audition for the part of the Oompa Loompas. This is extremely, extremely huge for you in particular, because I see here that you have some acting experience. Right. I think this could be your big break. I genuinely believe this. Our experience of Willy Wonka is going to be like no other. I promise you this. Okay, wow. There's a lot of words on this resume. Okay, so you've done a lot of things. It's really, like, hurting my brain a little bit. Looking at all these words in one place at once. Um, I'm actually gonna forgo this, and we're gonna do an in-person verbal interview. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna set this down. Okay. So, have you ever seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, and Mr. Beast episode? No, not the movie per se, just the Mr. Beast episode. You haven't. But you have seen the movie. Well, we can work with that. Have you by chance, um, do you remember any lines from that movie? Like, the Oompa Loompa ones. Oompa Loompa Oompa Dee Doo. Yeah, okay, good. Work, um, stick with that. I do have 15 pages of script that I wrote personally because I'm a genius um, with a little bit of help of ChatGPT. Uh, the experience is going to happen in like 30 minutes. Is that cool? Is that enough time for you to memorize my gibberish or... Right. You know what? Improvise. Do you know how to improvise? Good. I knew I could count on you. Okay, so you're hired. Congratulations for this life-changing experience. Okay, sorry, one second. I'm getting a call. One moment. Did you bring a costume at all? Hi. Yeah, one moment. Give me a second. Did you bring a costume? You didn't bring a costume to the to the interview. Well, you know, you were kind of like doing this thing for an Oompa Loompa, so it would have been nice if you dressed up, but I, just in case I did bring backup costume. Hmm. Orange face paint. Um, how do I apply orange face paint? One second, I'm just gonna ask ChatGBT how to apply orange face paint. Prep the skin, okay? skin. Prep, prep, prep the skin. Prep the skin. Um, yeah. You know what? I have, I have hand sanitizer. We can use that to prep the skin here. There. Right here. I'm just going to, um, oh, you like the decorations? No, 
it's not a draft. These are the real ones. I know what you're thinking. This was made by like a professional. Okay, hold still. I know what you're thinking. It was made by a professional. But in fact, I did all the decorations myself. I know, I know. They're good. Everyone always asks, like, who's the artist? Who's the artist? Well, that artist is me, believe it or not. I know. I've always sort of had a thing for art. Yeah, just it always came to me. I'm just a genius in that way. Just like a kind of like Kanye. You know. Okay. Let's make sure that we prep that skin. Prep, prep, prep that skin. Very good. Now I think we can move on to the orange face paint. This is what I brought. Um, Mayron Paradise Makeup. Um, I've never actually used it, but I figure it's pretty easy, so... Let's get that on your face. Going to get a healthy amount here. Yeah, what is it? No, 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 no. I didn't say get a chocolate river. I said get something like a chocolate river. Yeah, don't even bother going to the candy store. What do you think? What are you thinking? We don't have the budget for that. Yeah, yeah, no, I do. Okay, so we have a kiddie pool. We're going to stick it in the center and like put a rainbow over it and then um, and then just put like, there's a hose out back I think and just like throw some dirt in the water and make it muddy. It'll look like Chocolate River. Honestly, like what would you do without me? Ugh. It's such an easy, easy thing to think of and yet here you are not even thinking of the garden hose out back with the mud. You're right, it is the middle of winter kind of. The ground is pretty hard. No, I don't have a shovel. Oh, you know what? <laughs> There's a toilet. Just back it up and then siphon the sewage into the kiddie pool. It's honestly as simple as that. What are you doing at the candy store? Leave the candy store. No, there's nothing. I, I mean... No, no, we're fine. I have a bag of jelly beans in my car. That'll work just fine. Yeah, come on back and uh, get that kiddie pool filled up. Plus, you know, then I'll need you to get into costume. Yeah, I have this fantastic idea for you. Okay, it's like all one color. Um, and so it's like really flat against your face. So I'm gonna add something else, maybe some contour. I, um, I have like these, this makeup that, oh gosh, it's been sitting in my car for a while, but this will work. Okay. Okay, hold still. I'm just going to probably up here too. And down here. Good. I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers, I think. Hey, are you still there? Yeah, so I have this fantastic idea for you, okay? It's called The Unknown. Yeah, so you're gonna wear this really scary mask and I have this black wig somewhere in the back of my trunk. And then, some, do you have a Harry Potter costume? Like a Voldemort costume? Okay, bring that. Bring your Voldemort costume, right? And then you are going to pop out of the walls and scare children. Isn't that fantastic? Listen, I promised them twists and turns and ChatGPT told me that there was a chocolatier, an evil chocolatier in the walls, so I need you to play the unknown. Well, you know, I actually, well, Ch I, Ch I, ChatGPT, I came up with the name. Uh, there's like a, this famous line of, we don't know who he is, so we call him the unknown.
because he is not known. And that is really special, I think. Yeah, that's one of uh, Charlie's lines. The actor should be here at some point. I'm not sure where he is. Okay, let's do... Um, I feel like it... One second. I feel like there needs to be, like, lighter parts, because, like, we darkened this up, like, around the edges. I feel like we need some highlight. Okay. I think this is it. Okay. So it's, like, a lighter one. I'm just gonna put it in, like, the center. Like, you're talking, it's really loud. You're talking really loud. Um, the feds are after us. Um, I'm not quite sure what for, but they are. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... You're, you're there. Yeah, so, you don't really have any lines, but you do, um, you know, just pop out and scare the children. If you can make them cry, I think that's probably best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's up? The pay? $500 a day. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, you can get that through for sure. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'll talk to you later. See you when I see you. Good, good. Okay. Okay, so... I'm gonna be honest, it's still looking kind of flat. Like, we have you contoured really nicely, really snatched, really snatched, but I feel like we're missing something. Like, your eyes are kind of being, getting lost into the oranginess of it all. I think, I have some chalk that I used, or oil pastel that I used to create the decorations, I think I could use it to, like, recreate some of your face that we're missing. Alright, so I have this oil pastel. I'm just going to draw on your eyebrows here because we definitely lost around your eyes here, around your eyes. I feel like this is working. It's bringing some sort of definition to your face, so yeah, fantastic. Okay, let's get your lips as well. like, well, Willy Wonka is really the ideas guy, but the Oompa Loompas, they're the heart of this experience. So, I think that's gonna be you. Um, so I was hoping that you could just really embody that, that sort of essence, that idea, my brain child, right? Okay, good. Your hair, it's not nearly green enough, but thankfully I did buy a wig from Goodwill when I saw it when I was buying the other props. It's over here. It unfortunately 
does need a little bit of a brush through. Um, is packaged a little bit haphazardly. So maybe you could brush it afterward, but I'm actually going to cut it because as you can see, it's very long and the Oompa Loompas had sort of this like short bowl cut they had and I think that's what I want for you. Yeah, okay. So... You know, normally I would just apply the wig, but I'm a little worried that there's more to it than that. So let me grab my phone. I'm just going to ask ChatGPT really quickly how to apply a wig. Okay, measure the head of the person. What? What do I even... Um, I th I'm gonna get some measurements real quick and then I'm gonna put them into chat GPT because that's what it's asking for. Okay. Can you hold still real quick for me? So... Okay. Good, good. Let's find okay. wig. Okay. And hold still. I'm just going to put it on for you. Okay. Good. All right. Now I just need to look up how to cut hair. How to cut hair. Bowl cut. Umpa Loompa, Mr. Beast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So grab chunks of hair. I need 
need scissors? I got it. Okay, so it wants me to grab chunks of hair and start snipping in a V formation. going to like get the bangs. I think it's just like straight across. Okay. So let's see back here. your head up just a little bit, please. Over here. Just going to... And... and that should be good. One last little... Next, let me just look at my phone here. What's that? Oh, I nicked you a little bit. Where? Oh, that's nothing. That's hardly anything. Are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? I mean, it's just a little tiny. No? Oh, good. Okay. Doesn't really hurt. Ooh, that's fantastic to hear. But just so you know, you did already sign. very generous. I do have a first aid kit, okay? So, I did bring one. Um, so, I'm just gonna open it up and see what's inside and see what can help you here. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Right, so I did order this off of Amazon. Reading makes my brain go fuzzy and it like hurts. Physically hurts. So I probably didn't read that these were actually wooden medical toys. So, I mean, they're still 
surprised we have them so I'll go ahead and I, I, because of how generous and amazing I am, will apply your band-aid for you. Even though technically I don't have to. It's your job because you signed the contract. Also technically just so you know there's no backseas in any sense of the word. So if for whatever reason you feel like you don't want to further yourself in your career with this fantastic opportunity playing in Oompa Loompa, you can't back out. It's a little late for that. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm seeing the spark leave your eyes a little bit and it's a little worrying for me. So I just want to remind you, um, you're in for life. Well, at least for the next two days. Oh, and I was, um, meaning to ask you, uh, are you interested in a very exciting opportunity where you have the chance to gain financial independence? I'm just gonna place that there. Just, like, smooth that out. Yeah, so, actually, not only does my company throw fantastic just amazing world ending Mr. Beast level events. We also have our own crypto. And if you are interested in investing, I could absolutely get you a front row seat. So I will say the starting like investment is usually like around five thousand dollars. So I mean we can make an exception, like one thousand one hundred no, you aren't interested. Well, we can circle back to that because I would really hate for you to miss out on this fantastic opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. Um, and you can like tell all your friends and tell your mom and your grandma and stuff like that. Yeah? What's up? I'm busy. I'm putting together the Oompa Loompa. Oh my god, the cops know we're here. What happened? They haven't even come in yet. Oh, okay, so they showed up to a really sketchy giant warehouse with their children and they got a little skeeved out. Well, that's on them because Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was a factory. This is a warehouse. That's basically the same thing. If anything, it's more immersive. Just make them wait outside. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Oh, can you go to my car and get those jelly beans? They should be in my center console. Yeah. Yeah, just pop pop open the center console and there should just be like that bag there and if they're melted together can you like separate them please the Oompa Loompa is running late so we need them to be ready to go when I'm done yeah okay thanks okay um sorry one second I <laughs> again I didn't really watch the movie so I'm just gonna ask chat GPT what Oompa Loompa looks like Okay, long eyelashes. Huh. No, it's right. It's the computer. It's literally AI. So, I don't know what movie you were watching, but this is obviously it. I do have these eyelashes. Um, so let's... I don't have any eyelash glue, but um, I do have glue. So. I'll still place. It's gonna, gonna stick. Come on. Stick this on here. Good. And then this one.
Okay, so they're not like on your lash line exactly, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it defines your eyes more, makes you less look like a giant blob of orange. Um, okay, let's see what else. Okay, so they had long ears like an elf creature? Huh, okay, interesting. They're mythical creatures. Have you watched Lord of the Rings? They all have big ears. I don't know why you keep doubting the chat GPT. It's obviously right. Okay, I'm gonna um, have you... Can you please, like, pull your hair back a bit? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so to... Now let's apply the glue first and then we'll apply the ears. Good, okay. Okay, yeah, they're a little off, but I feel like it gives personality because, you know, when we look at humans, not everyone is perfect. I mean, I am, but not everyone is perfect. So if your ears is maybe pointing upward and your other ear is pointing downward, I mean, I don't really see the issue here. So we're good. Um, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else. Okay, I think we're good with the Oompa Loompas. I didn't get you a costume, so this should be fine. Maybe it's like Oompa Loompa workwear, business casual or something. Sorry, one second. Hey, what's up? Did you get the package? What do you mean it didn't arrive? So you're telling me that the package hasn't arrived yet? That's literally the crux of our plan. That's what's going to pull everything together. So what you're telling me is the nano translucent parchment paper isn't here. Well, okay, so it's like super magical and it's full of technology developed by Elon Musk. Well, co-created um, with, you know, another really fancy uh, company. My crypto bro. Okay, he's the one that recommended it. And he told me all about how fantastic it was. Yeah, so it's basically going to turn, you know, all the empty walls of the warehouse into the magicalness of Candyland, uh, I mean Willy Wonka Land. Yeah, so all we have to do is like plug it into the AI and it'll change. Yeah. Well, make sure you figure out, check the tracking. Again, check the tracking because we actually spent 90% of our budget on that alone. Right. Okay, talk to you later. See you soon. Oh my gosh, running a company is so, so much to do. 
So, how do you feel? I'm just gonna adjust your collar here. So, how do you feel? How are we feeling? How are we feeling about that crypto opportunity? No, okay. How are we feeling about this experience? Do you feel prepped? Do you feel ready? Okay, so I'm actually hearing some negative words. Um, like, I don't feel supported. I don't feel ready. This doesn't seem right. Um, you should be arrested. All these words that you're saying, I don't think that they're conducive to our current project. And I really think you need to put on that sunshine energy that you mentioned that you had on your resume and put it into effect for these children because, you know, like I said, this is a huge opportunity for you. And I'm sure that your next employers are going to be calling me non-stop, non-stop. Hey, can you tell us about this, like, really famous thing that happened and she was in it and he was in it and stuff like that and I want to know how they did. You know, I'm the one that's kind of the arbiter of your fate right now and I would hate for it to go not quite as smooth as you want it to. Yeah. So, um, are you willing to invest in a really Wonka experience? No. Okay. Right. Well, you know, I starting to get this feeling. It's like a weird feeling. Like, um, like I feel bad. Like there isn't chocolate here. I don't understand what this feeling is. It's like, hmm, guilt? No, 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 no such thing. I don't know. It's this weird feeling like I should have brought chocolate, but whatever. We have the, the sewer kiddie pool and we have a bounce house. We have a bounce house for the kids. Yeah. Um, you know, I think like, gosh, I don't know, quite a few quite a few kids are going to be here. Um, so yeah, the bounce house is a little tiny. Yeah, but it'll be fine. And tons of tables and chairs for everyone to hang out and just enjoy the experience. Yeah, there's at least 12 tables and chairs um, that we've set up for everyone to just chill. No, just the jelly beans. No food, just the jelly beans. And remember, one per kid. One per kid, because... I don't plan on going out to, to get more candy. Oh, no, no, I mean, we did promise candy. Yeah, it was on the flyer, but I have, I have, like, Skittles, if you can see, on the wall. I didn't say we would give them candy. I just said candy would be there. Anyway, yeah, so this has been really a great talk. You look wonderful, and I think that you're ready to really transform these kids' lives. Yeah. I gotta go talk to the unknown and check in with Willy Wonka and um, chat later. And if you don't see me, I am not crossing the border.